Sunday is coming up, but we can't go outside. We're basically on lockdown. If you can't go outside, then where can you go? And I wanted to do a cute little vegetable brunch you guys could cook with me. It's gonna be French toast roll-ups. It's gonna be mad cute. I thought it'd be fun, keep you guys in like really good spirits. Don't let this get you down. But I'm making these French toast roll-ups with fresh brioche bread, like from the bakery. So we're gonna have a good time. I want you guys to put me on in the background. You know, I did my little 15 minute beat on my face cause I wanted to get cute, feel good about myself. And then I put on my robe and we're just gonna prepare the food, you know, so cook with me. If you make this, definitely let me know. And let's get into the fun. This recipe calls for buttermilk, but I want to use a more plant-based option. So I'm going to take some of the silk oat, yeah, oat milk. And this has, you know, a slightly higher gram amount of fat. And so I want to use a kind of creamy, very thicker milk. And this is one of the thicker ones. You can also use cashew milk as well. So I'm just going to pour out a cup. And you guys can see it's super creamy. And then I'm going to add one tablespoon of white distilled vinegar. Okay, so after you add the vinegar, it's gonna kinda like start to curdle. So I'm just gonna try to whisk this real quick. And just let it set at room temperature for about 10 minutes. This bread looks so good. I want to eat it right now, but you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna calm down. I'm gonna cut this into one inch thick or half inch thick slices, I think. I think this is the bread knife, so. taste the bread to make sure it's okay to make sure it's edible i don't own a rolling pin so i just wrapped this saratoga bottle with plastic wrap and it's gonna be just as good mm -hmm. watch okay i hope this works this works really well just don't roll it out too thin because you want your bread to have some body to it In total, I have nine slices of the brioche bread. And like I said, the thicker that you cut it, the better when you roll it out. And my makeshift rolling pin, a Saratoga bottle is bomb. A, a Pellegrino bottle could be just as good. This definitely did the job. For the filling, I'm using the Kite Hill cream cheese. This is a non-dairy almond milk based cream cheese. It gives cream cheese teas, like I'm not even joking. And it has like a nice little creamy texture. It's very soft. So we're gonna use part of this and kind of jazz it up because it's gonna be turned up. And I'm also gonna be using the specially selected blackberry fruit spread. This is from Aldi, it's super inexpensive. If you have like jam, some other type of preserves, maybe peach, that could work really well. So let's get into it. So look at our gorgeous buttermilk. I let her set for well over 10 minutes, but 10 minutes is the minimum. That's what's recommended. So I'm gonna go in with some pure vanilla extract. This is from Trader Joe's. And I think I'm gonna do like two teaspoons. I like vanilla, so it'll be good. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. And of course, I'm gonna do two eggs. And then we're gonna whisk it all together. So 
So I'm going in with my non-dairy cream cheese mixture and I'm gonna lay a nice thin layer. I'm gonna try not to get carried away, y'all know how I do. It's so creamy, oh my God, yes. Yes, come through. Try not to get it too close to the edges because it can definitely ooze out when you roll it up. I know that story all too well. So for the preserve, I think I'm gonna add half a teaspoon and see how that looks. We'll adjust later. Now we finna roll her up and make her cute. Now you see with this one, I tried to stay further away from the edges of the bread. So it's a neater roll. This is how they turned out. They're all unique in their own little way. We're ready to put these in the egg and buttermilk mixture. So with my tongs, I'm gonna take one of the roll-ups and place it into the batter, or mixture rather and you want it to soak on all sides. If you have a wire rack, that would be perfect. I don't, y'all know I don't bake. But let the excess drip off. So I've added 14 grams of the Earth Balance European style buttery spread. I really like this. It cooks very well. It's also vegan. I really enjoy cooking with this. I would highly recommend it. It cooks up just like butter, sis. good and I know they're gonna taste even better mm, y'all know I'll be cooking cooking I'll be playing <laughs> now you know I had to come through and do my little breakfast scramble because I'm trying to set it off I want to enjoy this brunch we're gonna make it a big thing As if these couldn't get any better, I'm gonna take these and roll them in cinnamon sugar. I told you this is gonna be turned up, this is not your average. Big on presentation, of course, I had to make it a little bit fancy. Get excited about your food. Plating it is honestly one of the best parts. 
I like using the measuring cups for like my sauces, syrups, or anything like that. So this is a great little accent and a way to improvise and still give a bomb presentation. This is the best part. This is where I get to taste all this goodness. Okay. Let's do it. Do you dip your, like, do you like syrup all over your French toast or do you like to dip it? Mm -hmm. But you will. I want y'all to make this because it's way too good. It's way too good for you guys not to make it. Have a wonderful Easter. Make the best of it and make this. Now you know I had to make my plate for this situation and this is how I'm coming with my little breakfast scramble. My two eggs that I like fried and of course the French toast roll-ups girl have go treat yourself you you need this <laughs> 